Hi, I'm Audrey Herbert. In this section, we will be going over the point of care ultrasound scanning technique for imaging the aorta. This is a beautiful illustration of the IVC and aorta in the abdomen. You can see the IVC on the patient's right and the aorta on the patient's left. If you look closely, you can see the two branches off the anterior aorta superior to the left renal vein. These are the celiac trunk and the superior mesenteric artery. Follow the aorta inferiorly and visualize the iliac bifurcation. The photograph on this slide shows the positioning of the probe to begin imaging the abdominal aorta. You can see the probe is placed in the sub position perpendicular to the anterior abdominal wall. The indicator is directed towards the patient's right. Bowel gas that is present in the stomach and intestines can make imaging the abdominal aorta challenging. If you are having difficulty, you may need to apply gentle downward pressure to displace the bowel gas that is between your probe and the aorta. If you direct your attention to the ultrasound image on the right, you can see an example of the image we are hoping to obtain. When you begin scanning the aorta, always make sure the depth on your screen is increased deep enough to locate the spine. This is the anatomical landmark we use to locate the aorta. You can see it labeled here. Spine will appear hyperechoic anteriorly with dark shadowing deep, as the sound waves do not travel through the dense bone. In this clip, you will see two large vessels superficial or more superior on this image to the spine. The aorta can be seen on the right, which is on the patient's left, and the IVC on the left, which is on the patient's right. Imagine that you are looking up at the vessels from the patient's feet like a CT scan. Our next objective is to find the celiac trunk and the SMA. These branches may be difficult to see and will take some patients and small adjustments of the probe to bring into view. Occasionally, bowel gas will obstruct these views completely. The celiac trunk is the most superior abdominal branch that can be observed on ultrasound. You can see the trunk in this image arising from the aorta, traveling anterior and bifurcating. The bifurcation of the trunk is sometimes described as the seagull sign as it appears like the wings of a bird. The two branches arising from the trunk are the common hepatic artery and the splenic artery. Follow the proximal aorta superior and inferior and in transverse orientation until you visualize the celiac trunk and its branches. Additionally, again notice the relationship of the aorta to the spine and IVC. Here's a clip demonstrating the celiac trunk with its branches. After identifying the celiac trunk, move your probe inferiorly very slowly. The superior mesenteric artery is just inferior to the celiac trunk and can be easily missed. SMA rises from the anterior abdominal aorta and runs along the anterior aorta. Just after bifurcating from the aorta, the SMA is in close relation to two veins imaged here. The splenic vein is visualized draping anterior to the SMA and the left renal vein can be seen traveling between the SMA and the aorta and joins the IVC. This is the most common anatomical arrangement. There are some normal variations that are not imaged here. Next, slide your probe inferiorly, visualizing the entire aorta in the transverse plane. Note that the aorta becomes more superficial as you move inferiorly. Your depth, therefore, may need to be adjusted accordingly. You can see the aorta continues to run anterior to the vertebral bodies of the spine. As we reach the level of the umbilicus, you will see the aorta bifurcation into the iliac arteries. As the umbilicus is filled with air, you may need to move superior or inferior and then fan up and down to visualize the bifurcation, which is demonstrated here. Last, we now want to image the aorta in the longitudinal plane. Visualize the aorta and rotate your probe 90 degrees, turning the indicator towards the patient's head. Try to visualize the aorta throughout the rotation of the probe. 
Now follow the aorta superiorly, visualizing the entire abdominal aorta in the longitudinal or sagittal plane. Again, note the vertebral bodies imaged deep to the aorta. You can see here as we move proximally, we again are able to visualize the celiac trunk and SMA arising from the anterior abdominal aorta. Anterior to this, you can visualize a portion of the liver.